Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of subchronic hematoma. A young female patient came with amenorrhea for four months. She had given the history of lower abdominal pain for one day. There was no history of parvaginal bleeding. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal section of the uterus. You can see an irregular anechoic to hypoechoic area at the subchronic level of the anterior wall. This hypo to anechoic area is the subchronic hematoma which is common before 20 weeks of gestation. There is no definite placental marginal separation noted. Overall, the fetus shows no definite abnormality in this case. Here we have put the color Doppler to exclude any other differential diagnosis like mass. There is no vascularity within this hematoma. Adjacent normal retroplacental blood vessels are seen. Here is the magnified view and you can see this irregular triangular shaped anechoic to hypoechoic area suggesting the subchronic hematoma. And here is the color Doppler on magnified image. Here is the picture showing the transverse section of the uterus and you can see this irregular hypo to anechoic area at the anterior wall at the subchronic level. So in summary, a small hypo to anechoic fluid collection is seen extending between the uterine wall and the chronic membrane. Color Doppler shows absence of internal blood flow. This feature is suggested as a case of subchronic hematoma. Now the take home message. Subchronic hemorrhage is a common case within the first 20 weeks of gestation where blood collects between the chorion and endometrium. So if the patient gives any history of severe pain, try to search for this common topic. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.